All right, so uh, continue on. Yeah, well, first I dug it. That's the first thing. But I found it listenable um, for me uh, from a couple standpoints. The, first of all, the tone was great. Everybody's tone on their instrument. Um, and, of course, Donnie, I just think his tone is very pleasing. But it, it, it was an interesting um, way to play in some odd meters but still keep it melodic and... Um, listenable but also creative and you guys played great together it sounded like you've been playing together for like a couple years or something <laughs> <laughs> and we only played thursday <laughs> and then just Sunday. got off the road touring oh for... man i wish that was yeah. awesome do you yeah. know what the album's called did i ever tell you no what? it's called tales of time oh nice right yeah don't you feel like because i feel like the songs are kind of like they're granted they're in different times issues drummers always got to deal with time right but also tales because each song is kind of like its own little story yeah when you did you kind of get that vibe yeah i mean from a couple of things i mean it, it i mean some people find it offensive if you compare it to other music but i i look at it as a compliment uh, because we're all influenced by something sure you know so i heard eras uh some of it reminded me of some of the 60s era um uh, and then some of it definitely like brought some memories of Matheny and Steps Ahead, your melodic nice. sense and stuff like that, which is, I guess, would be from my era, the 80s. And I listened to some of that and it had some pop sensibilities back then. They, they used production wise and just melody wise. They would like Matheny and Steps Ahead. So I heard some of that in there. Well, and, I, I, you know, and then some of your compositional skills. I even heard some of like maybe. You're, you're influenced from composing music like for soundtracks and stuff like that. I heard some of that in there, you know. Yeah, well, the thing, of, the thing about composing for soundtracks is, is, you know, my actual goal of the record is not so much, oh, you guys are amazing, whatever, but I want people to feel something right? when they hear the record. I, you know, I want people to feel melancholy or sure. happiness. Sure, I mean, that's kind of really the reason that we have music. <laughs> right. Well, I just feel like, you know, like, well, I feel like, yeah. I feel, don't you kind of feel like jazz is kind of missing a little bit of that um, these days? Like, I mean, you listen to like, quite a bit. you can still listen to Beethoven's Nine and go, oh my God, Right. that was amazing. Right. You still get that like, well, that's what, that's what I meant by listenable. Okay. That's what I meant by, I didn't mean like, like, oh, it's cool background music. I mean, listenable in that it, it's, it's something that, you you can listen to you, you don't have to be a musician to listen to it and get that's my goal some sort i want to reach by it i want to reach people that you aren't know? necessarily jazz lovers but right. they can still go oh this sounds a little different i mean like when dave brubeck came out with take five sure that was... it's not necessarily like oh this is a great jazz hit but it's it's something that even you would never unless someone said oh that's in five four right and that's what and that's, I, that's where I'm going for right i noticed that too your, your your odd meter stuff was comfortable um, knowing it was an odd meter, it was still comfortable to, for me to listen to. And it reminded me, of course, of like Take Five or um, something, you know, from that era where where um, it appealed to the common person in a way, the non-musician was listening mm. to something in five and and it felt natural. So that that's what I meant by listenable. And uh, awesome. at the end of the day, I, I feel that that's really what musicians are... And true, some people lose sight of that. You know, you're trying to you're trying to reach people, people, yeah. not just musicians. You know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what music music is supposed to help be a positive force for people, not something, yeah. not a, not a science experiment. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> and I mean, I, I mean I, I'm impressed by the skill too. that it takes to do that. But I felt this was a nice balance of that. There definitely uh, was uh, a display of skill, and but it was a nice. Uh, to hear tunes that were listenable and you incorporated odd meter and and uh, right. everybody got the the play blow and and it was a lot of nice interplay and everything it was skill without being confusion confusing yeah it was <laughs> it was it didn't sound self-indulgent to me oh you nice know? that's a huge compliment thank you yeah that's great yeah i mean so, what you know you nobody wants that <laughs> but we get it all the time <laughs> especially jazz i hate to say it <laughs> no well you know as someone that listens to a bunch of stuff i mean you know i mean that's the thing i've done interviews with now with my like my dad who's like you know pretty happy into jazz i've done some interviews with my my like my best friend from like junior high school and he like doesn't really listen to jazz at all right but he he was like had a joke he's like man this is amazing 
I think would be great elevator music, but like kind of joking, <laughs> tongue in cheek. He's like, yeah. only the best elevators. Like it has to be like <laughs> the Empire State yeah. Building of it's elevators. All, it's all going to be like the Sears Tower, the Empire State <laughs> right. Building. She's and, like, because yeah. that way people can actually have a chance to digest more of the music. Right. I was like, oh, that's a, that's kind of a cool, uh, you know, cool compliment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, there's, there's listenable from a, like a real corporate standpoint. And then there's just listenable in that it's, it's like, it's the same as like a pop song. It's necessarily bad. I mean, there's some great artists that write pop music, but the reason why it's popular is because it's it reaches people. Right. You know, on like a, a message in a way or... on a deeper level. What's ironic about it is you you can have all this musicianship and all this skill, but miss the target with the common person, so to speak. You know, so it's really a nice balance of being able to keep, you know, to uh, the combination to where you can attract uh, 